Previously on Walk on Water. Welcome to the Country Boys Fraternity House. To a very important social function that you are urged to attend. Fine, I'll go if you're coming. Eat, drink, be married! Is there some sort of problem here? Undoubtedly. What? We might all get expelled. I'm telling you, that student activity director is supposed to pay us a visit tonight. I guess we sort of misled everyone. We're not really a legit fraternity. I'm not getting kicked out over there. I'm sorry. I've been a huge jerk to you lately. Looks like you two have made up. Maybe you'd like to come and audition too. You're inviting me to get in on this? Is that? We think this exotic dancing is a stupid idea. And someone like you can do much better than taking off your clothes for a bunch of slobbering drunks. I'll think about it. Who's that guy she's talking to? Look, we need to go somewhere right now and straighten this out. I don't need to go anywhere with you, Eddie. Why did you come all the way down here from Detroit? You need to go back up there. Look, we need to go somewhere right now and straighten this out. No, I don't need to go anywhere with you. Get away from me. Don't you ever talk to me again. Don't you think you're gonna get off that easy? You better watch that attitude of yours. That's if you don't end up like your little brothers. Hey, mister. I don't know who you think you are, but where I come from, we treat ladies with respect. And the ones that don't, get a good butt kick. <laughs> Excuse you, country boy. This ain't your business. Well, I'm about to make it my business. Oh, yeah? If you don't get the heck out of here. Excuse me, sir. You need to leave or I'm going to call the cops. This ain't over. Oh, yeah. It is over. And, Mac, we'll settle this later, OK? You can't hide from me all the time. We're going to have to face up eventually. Can't always have your bodyguards always protecting you. That's it, I'm calling the cops. Lucky break. Next time, I'm gonna break your face. Mackenzie, are you okay? I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Way to go, Wake. Thanks. You didn't have to do that. No problem, ma'am. You all right? Here, come sit down. Come um, can we get you something to drink? Um, just some water, maybe. Waiter, we need some water. so nice to me. Wait a minute. The fraternity party, right? Where's my charity funding that you promised me? Oh, well, we can offer 24-hour protection. Wait, then who's gonna protect us? to go to the mall or somewhere inside with air conditioning. Oh. 
I don't think he's stopping back by. Well, you can take that chance if you want to, but I'm staying away for a few days. Yeah? You gonna sleep at the beach at night? That's what it takes. Well, why don't we just go and find his office on campus and talk to the guy? I mean, tell him we're sorry. And admit we violated campus rules and get suspended or expelled? Not me. Go ahead if you want to. So? What does tell him we're not aware of any violations or infractions being committed? That our intentions were noble? Uh-huh. I'm sure they'll completely understand. Not to mention the National Fraternal Organization. I just want to lay low for a bit longer. Be inconspicuous. Well, you can throw that idea out the window. What? Being inconspicuous. I mean, I thought I'd never find you guys, man. Let's be at the north end of the beach. Woo! Great day in the morning. It's a scorch out here. Nice hat. So what's the plan now? Oh, we're just hiding. Like cowards. Find the book and let's get out of here before somebody sees us that should. It's been a few weeks, man. I don't think you should be worrying about it. Oh, you think the issue is just dried up, huh? That any reports or records that the activities department has just suddenly vanished? Right. Hey, that's it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? He's thinking of a plan. A and whatever it is, just keep me out of it. Well, well, just think about it, man. A huge university like this, imagine how many more important things they have to do than tracking down a few guys who held an unsanctioned fraternal meeting. You think they'll just forget about it? Let it all just dry up? I don't know, dude. We gotta find any reports they filed on us and make them disappear. Okay, no, see, I, I knew you would conjure up some type of crazy idea. You know, whatever it is, just keep me out of it, all right? Look, we got into this mess as a team and we're going to get out of it as a team. Oh, look, it's that girl from the sorority party. musician from the party last week. Uh, uh, guilty. It was interesting. Quite entertaining. Oh, oh, um, well, well, thank you for coming out and, um, you know, I was a little busy with my, my musical duties to have much social interaction. And, and please do forgive me for not formally introducing myself at the, uh, the, uh, the coffee shop the other day. I am Ser Rico. It is indeed. My pleasure. Uh, okay. Um, well, bye guys. Oh, and Wake? What? Thank you for coming to my rescue at the cafe yesterday. Is that your new hiding place? <laughs> uh huh. 
relax. No one's gonna turn you in. I never even said a word to my sorority anyways. We're just hoping this whole thing blows over. Well, I think the right thing to do is to just come clean. Maybe go talk to the university dean or something. Well, hi guys. How is everyone? This is a surprise. Mac. I mean, Mackenzie. Sorry. Hi, Miss Party Girl. Strip tease? <clears throat> Cute. Okay, fine. I won't pick on you about your sex activities, providing that you return the same courtesy to me about my career choices. Oh, yeah? Some kind of stripper? Well, it's just something I wanted to try. Oh, yeah. I get it. Yeah, me and you have a lot in common. We're both in the entertainment business. We both like to perform on stage. But that's all right with me, baby. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know. <laughs> so, are you musically inclined, Mackenzie? Maybe you would prefer Rico's form of entertaining. Oh, no, I don't make music. I just dance to it. Well, oh, I think I have something that you would prefer. Rico, I don't think the lady wants to join your band. Ah, oh, man, not like that, man. She says she likes to dance. Yes, I do. So? The classic example is rapper's delight. The genre's first national record had the lyrics the rappers didn't write. Right. But platinum sales propelled the culture worldwide overnight. Now the spotlight was in hip hop's corner. But soon the DJ, the grab artist, the breaker were gonna. Cause they could only market the MC in a radio format. Soon the other elements got stepped on like a doormat. Let's explore that. Run DMC landed a deal with a label. MTV launched, now America can catch MCs on cable. Eric B, Rock, MPE, BDP showed that hip hop was stable. And not a passing trend, for many it was true love. And not a passing friend, the industry wanted the envelope to push and bend. Soon the original identity was about to end. Dance was looking nice, man. You're looking good. Looking good. Hey. Oh. This is Jenna. This is Lily. And this is Mackenzie. This is the girl I was telling you about. Oh, and what did you tell him? That you wanted to learn some choreographed moves. Yeah, that's what I told him. That
Our fraternity president. I mean, if we were a fraternity. Not that we shouldn't be a fraternity, but. Don't look at me, man. It was his idea anyway. Ah, looks like I'm just in time to witness you throwing me under the bus. Huh? Man, what are you hey, doing? Man. Trying to get these lovely ladies to turn against me now? Nah, man. It ain't nothing like that. You know, I was just took them to see a couple of my friends, you know, learn a couple of dance moves. Ah, oh, sounds like you're a man of many talents. Regular Fred Astaire. Fred right what? Fred Astaire. The dancer. You know. Forget it. Well, I had a lot of fun. I can't wait to go back. It's amazing what you can learn with one lesson, right? Very cool. Mackenzie? Yes? What did you think? Um... Well, I liked it. It gave me a, a really good physical workout. And I got to dance. I think it's a really good creative way to express yourself. I've done choreography in our church cantatas before. So, Sister Act, <laughs> how's that church thing going for you? Another nickname. It's working out great. You know, I, um... I grew up going to church. Um, sometimes I actually miss it, believe it or not. I believe it. God's always waiting for us with outstretched arms. So I've strayed away from the fold. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> well, God wasn't there for me when I needed him most. Yo! What? Mac! Is that... Man, this guy just doesn't let up, does he? We need to talk now. Leave me alone, Eddie. Look, the lady already told you she doesn't want you around. Man, and I already told you this ain't none of your business, man. Oh, so you think you can just come here and harass people, do you? Man, what are you gonna do about a country boy? Okay, please, come on now. We don't want any trouble here, okay? Well, you know what? You're gonna get trouble you get this bulldog out of my face. You don't know who you're messing with, okay. pal. Yeah. Hey, you wanna talk, all right? Let's talk, all right? Let's just get this over with, okay? You don't have to do what he says. Don't go with him. This is far from over, Chump. Well, come on. I'm right here. Guys, maybe we should call the campus police. Man, you better be thankful I don't have my nunchucks. If I have my nunchucks... Wow! Your talents have no bounds. Look, Eddie, I don't know what it is, okay? I don't have it. I have no idea what you're talking about. Do you think she's in some kind of trouble? We should really do something. You coming back for more? You think you're a tough guy, huh? You think you got what it takes to fight? I'd bury you right now on this ground. Oh, you're a big talker, are you? Well, I ain't afraid to fight. Wait, this isn't the way to settle this. Yeah, wake. You should maybe listen to your friend. She's trying to save your pathetic life. Well, maybe you should listen to your enemies and get out of town. All right. I'm up for a challenge, are you? What? If you win, I'll leave town. Oh, so we're going to fight now? It's a challenge, not slaughter. Besides, we'll settle this like gentlemen for Max's sake. And a uh, friendly competition. Another drink, Wake? Oh, yes, my dear. Thank you. Would you like another cigar, Wake? Oh, you're too kind. What would I ever do without you lovely ladies? Would you care for a light? 
You. I found you now, Mr. Peterson. We have enough evidence against you. You're expelled. <gasps> oh, no. And you're expelled. Oh, no. They had nothing to do with it. No, it's all my fault, please. They've come for you now, Mr. Peterson. It's all over for you now. <laughs> no! Please! No! 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 no. What's going on, man? I must be having a nightmare or something. You know what, I cannot deal with this craziness going on in this house. Oh, bizarre. So, I thought you'd be the best one to talk to about these matters with your close connection to the Almighty and all. <laughs> Well, I don't think you should fight this guy. It's not your battle, and you could really get hurt. And let this doofus continue to harass her? She's a nice girl. Okay, a little uppity, but nice. I can't just bow out now and have the chance to run this guy out of town. If she's smart, she'll go to the authorities. Suppose you do win the fight. Do you really think that will be the last of this guy? I see. It's not just for her, is it? Okay. You asked to come talk with me. So, now you want to tell me? I'm just tired of being pushed around. Who's pushing it? Not now, but used to. All my life I've let people push me around, intimidate me, and I always back down like some stupid coward. Well, not this time. I've got the chance to finally stand up to someone, and for a good cause too. To protect someone in danger. So, by golly, that's what I'm going to do. Just like that activities director, what I do on my own property is my business. But you did misrepresent campus fraternities, Wake. I did check into this, and they do address it in the university student handbook. Look, it's your decision as to how to handle things. I just don't want to see you and the guys get into any more trouble. I pray that you'll do the right thing. And I think you already know what that is. Just say a prayer for me. That I don't get clobbered by this guy in the ring. <laughs> <laughs>